As we learn more about Foxconn's sale of its Lorestown plant to SoftBank, one thing we still don't know is what the site will be used for. Yeah, it's likely the facility will hold AI infrastructure, but that could mean anything from an AI server manufacturing hub to a data center. Ali Ross has been looking into the economic impact of both possibilities and how the Valley is preparing. Well, experts say either way, this is expected to be a positive economic impact on the community, but that could take shape in very different ways. As more AI infrastructure projects pop up around the country, the economic impact can start to be measured. While data centers create construction jobs, in the long term, they don't create many permanent positions. The occupants of a data center are the servers. That's the objective, is to have working servers that have a, constant, a continuous operational standard. The permanent jobs that are created come with higher wages, indirectly benefiting the economy. They require more advanced skills, maybe even a four-year degree. Meanwhile, AI server manufacturing would create more permanent jobs. But I think you are going to see a, a kind of an upgrade in the skill sets needed and a more a more technical centric skill set needed in both scenarios. But the, but there may be a more diverse uh, labor pool needed for an advanced manufacturing than for a data center facility. We are now preparing students for jobs that don't even exist. And at this point in time, I think we're seeing that statement come into fruition. Those jobs are beginning to exist. The Trumbull Career and Technical Center offers programs teaching manufacturing, technology, and robotics, which Barry says will prepare students to meet the moment. The center also offers customized job trainings to businesses to make sure the workforce can meet their necessary qualifications. The employer is telling us exactly what they need. As of right now, there is no customized TCTC job training planned for that Lordstown facility, but the director, Jason Gray, told me yesterday they would be happy to have one if Foxconn were to reach out. With more local news, I'm Allie Ross.